Good morning from Valencia, Spain. I am so excited to be here. I've been here for about a week enjoying the beautiful Spanish culture and eating some really yummy food um, and just enjoying the beauty. Valencia is the third largest city in Spain, so it definitely has a proper city, but it's also because it's perched on the Mediterranean, I've found that it not only does it have beautiful beaches, but it also has a little bit of a laid back vibe, which I just love. It's also the birthplace of paella, which is the famous rice dish, of course. And I've been so enjoying visiting the little produce market every day, um, as well as some of the little mom and pop shops. Um, it's pretty early right now, so a lot of things are closed, um, but midday it, there are so many little um, vintage shops, record stores, bookstores, hairdressers, um, florists, uh, little clothing shops. Um, right here is a creperia. It's just really charming. I feel like the city um, has parts that are definitely untouched by the Zaras and the Sephoras of the world. So today I'm really excited because we're gonna go visit some, oh look how cute this little cake shop is behind me. So fun. Um, but we are gonna be going to visit some fabric stores today. So before we jump in, I just want to mention, when I started researching fabric stores here, I realized there are so many more than I found in Madrid. And now I know why. It's because there is a big festival here every March called Las Fallas. And the women dress up in these beautiful costumes um, made of this beautiful silk uh, fabrics. And so there are many fabric stores here dedicated to just these costumes, the um, the silk fabric that they use, and some of what I've seen has been in the upwards of 100 to 150 euros a meter for this beautiful silk fabric. Um, but today I have four shops selected, so we're going to take a visit to those. The first place we are heading to is Julian Lopez, and if you watched my video from last month in Madrid, I also visited, we visited Julian Lopez there. And the other day, I actually got to visit um, this store here in Valencia with Andra, who was one of the very first students of Stitch Playbook when I launched it to almost two years ago. And so it was really serendipitous that we got to meet up, but today you and I get to go. So let's go. Julian Lopez has nine locations across Spain. And this particular one is located right next to the town hall, the Center de Ayuntamiento, right here in Valencia. As I walked in, I saw these sale fabrics. These were a euro 99. There were some upwards of 9.99 onwards to um, right around 20 euros a, a meter for the sale. The first floor was filled with the most fashion forward fabrics. I love these fabrics. In total, there's four floors. Um, and as you even go up the, the stairs, the fabrics like literally line the staircase. So there are some flannels here and then they had an um, amazing selection of quilting cottons and of course a full stash of Liberty of London. Also a very solid stock of home deck fabrics. Then on the very top floor, they have a whole floor dedicated just to the Las Falles, um, silks and costumes and all of the accessories that go along, um, you know, with this very traditional Valencian um, gown. Then on the very lower floor, they have their remnants as well as um, some more fashion fabrics. Well, that was fun. I got some knit fabric for two euros a meter. Um, and now we're gonna head to Tejidos Marina which from the maps looks like it's just uh, about five or so blocks away. So I'm gonna head there now. Okay, so I found it. We're here at Marina Tejidos. I just have to figure out how I'm going to cross the street. I think I have to walk down a ways in order to get across, but we're gonna dive in. Okay, 
Elena Tejidos has a really great window display, this little vintage machine. As I walked in though, I was a little confused because it appeared that it was only a home deck um, fabric store. I mean, they had stuffing and fabrics and pillows and pretty much everything you need for a home deck. And then in the back, I saw this staircase, which looked a little intimidating and I wasn't sure if I could go down or if it was um, not allowed. And again, it's Spanish. So then I finally figured out, okay, downstairs is where the fashion fabrics are. So I headed downstairs, um, definitely worth a visit. They had so many unique um, fashion fabrics that, you know, you may not find at the more mainstream, like the Julian Lopez. Um, so lots of fashion fabrics. They also had some really great, um, you know, like juvenile type of cottons and more um, specialty fabrics. Look at these beautiful laces and um, really special uh, occasion fabrics. And of course, cottons and just lots of fashion fabrics. I found it really well-priced. Nothing was really over the 20 euro a meter price. This was a swimwear, it's a Lycra, and I so wanted to buy it. They also had a really small stash of quilting cottons, pretty, you know, traditional. Then also, um, you know, all the notions, ribbons, a little bit of lace, and more home deck. So that was fun. And right around the corner, I found a couple little shops that are interesting. This is another one of the shops that looks like it caters to the Los Valles, the, um, the festival. And then also right around the corner is this tiny little um, notion shop. So it looks like he has a lot of ribbons and um, threads and uh, different notions for sewing. It's literally just right around the corner from Tejidos Marina, right here, this little shop. Um, this is a really cute street too. Um, so we have two more shops. Actually, I see one that we're going to right in front of me. It's called uh, Nadal Verde. And let's go check it out. I love that all of these are so close by. Um, this is a cool little discount shop, a little nail salon here, a restaurant. And then here, it looks like it's a patchwork shop. So it looks like it's quilting. It's so funny that they call quilting patchwork here because I always think of quilting but let's go check it out so it looked like they had a class going on inside the store and it's pretty small so i didn't go in but i did enjoy checking out the window vitrines which were filled with some really beautiful quilts i just saw right behind me here is um a store all of those are buttons so i'm gonna go check it out so it looks like they have more than just buttons i see some zippers and trims um, and also it's pretty customary for some of these notion shops to also carry bras, underwear, um, pantyhose, and also kind of these under layers or pajamas. So once I got inside, I saw they have a nice zipper selection. They probably had just gotten a shipment in, but the highlight is the button wall. Oh my gosh, they come in these little tubes, um, really well priced and pretty much every color and shape you can imagine. I also stumbled upon Tejidos Femenina, which is right in the same area where all these shops are. And it's kind of a wild, you never know what you're gonna get mix of fashion fabrics. I did find this beautiful pink silk, which I picked up. Um, they did have some sale fabrics. And overall, I'd say it's worth a stop because you just never know what you're gonna find. After all that fabric shopping and walking, I decided to stop for a home-baked cookie and a coffee to go and walked around the Plaza de Ayutamiento and just took in the beauty um, and admired some of the florist vendors that line the plaza. It smelled so good. Earlier on in the week, I visited the, um, the Art and Science Center and just enjoyed a really peaceful walk enjoying the architecture. So the verdict is if you are traveling to Spain, I definitely recommend taking a stop in Valencia, not only for the fabric stores, but for the markets and the culture and the paella and the beauty of the city. So if you also, if you're planning a trip um, and you're thinking of stopping in Madrid, 
take a look at this video here from a last month that I did in Madrid where I visited some of the fabric stores there. So that is it from you today. I hope you enjoyed visiting the fabric stores in Valencia with me. Thanks for hanging out and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other sewing related videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!